Hi, fifth graders, it's Miss Shimako. I am back for week four of your art packet sketchbook. Um, this week's an interesting week. We have pages five and six. I have some notes for you, which I'll share with you in a minute. Um, page five is free draw, which is a free draw. However, some of you may be needing some prompts or ideas for this week because you've probably been free drawing all along. Um, and the second page, page six, is graphic design. Um, I took some notes for you. I'm going to show you my notes. I'm going to show you my examples and we'll go from there. See you in a sec. Bye. Okay, welcome back. I am showing you first some ideas I came up with for your free draw. Um, obviously, if you have your own idea for a free draw, I am happy to have you be creative and do your own thing. If you are struggling to come up with an idea, I wrote down some, some easy ideas for you to try. You could do a self-portrait where you use a mirror. You can sit in front of a mirror, you can hold a mirror, whatever makes it easier for you. You could draw a portrait of a family member or a pet, which is kind of fun. If you have a dog or a cat or a bunny, I have a guinea pig and a dog, that would be kind of fun. Um, you could draw those as well. Or you can have maybe your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister sit down and you could sketch them. That's also fun. Uh, you could do a still life, which is anything in your home that is not alive. You could set up a still life. You could put um, some fruit on the table. You could do some drawing um, materials, which is actually what I did. I'll show you mine in a minute. Um, but it's nice to have something that's still, that doesn't move. People move, you know, if you're drawing a person like a self-portrait or a, a, a portrait of somebody else, they move and that's hard. A still life, you could come back to it and continue. Um, something you see out your window. Since we're inside a lot, we're, we're seeing a lot of different things outside our windows. A cartoon, you can come up with a cartoon or you could sketch your favorite cartoon. We're just gonna say, please don't trace. That's not part of this free draw. You wanna be as creative as possible and doing this on your own. You could create a comic. I know some of my students love to create comics and that's very creative. That's a different style of art that we don't always get to try in art class. So that's a fun one. You could design a book cover. If you're reading something that you love and you wanna come up with a different book cover design, you could do that. Something abstract. I mean, this could be anything. You could just start coloring different shapes and put them together and see what you get. Um, you can draw something symmetrical. You could do something like realistic, like a butterfly, or you could just come up with a symmetrical design or a radial design, which we've done before. Or the last idea I had was just, just to doodle or do some zentangles. The zentangles are repeating patterns, black and white. You can make your own coloring page with some zentangles and then color it in later on. So many different ideas. So that's yours. Um, I did, I, I had my crayons in front of me for my free draw and I just kind of sat and sketched. So I didn't do any color, but I did some sketching. Um, and you know what, it's kind of fun to just to make a little bit of a mess with pencils. I'll just come in a little bit closer to you. Um, it's not perfect. I did it a little bit quickly, but it still makes me happy sometimes to concentrate on something, to work on something. And I like drawing in pencil. I like doing black and white, and that's totally fine for your free draw. Okay, now for your billboard design. This is graphic design. Now I gave a, a quick, um, definition of graphic design because there are a bunch of different types of graphic design. This is the, des the definition that I thought made the most sense for the billboard. This is the craft of creating visual content to communicate messages. So you're going to come up with some sort of message or design here for, and I said it's, it's marketing and advertising graphic design, for a product, a place, or event you are trying to sell. Usually on a billboard, you see somebody trying to sell something or there's some sort of special event coming up. You get to decide what that's going to be, okay? Come up with a brand or a name of your object or your item or your event. You can put a short message, but they're usually very short because billboards you're driving by and you don't have time to read a lot of words. And come up with some sort of simple design, something that catches your eye. So before I show you my example, I just wanted to show you some objects I pulled from my pantry. This is kind of with graphic design. How many of you eat these, right? My kids love Annie's. So here's the product name. This is a little bit, this is a description. They have a big picture, nice and simple colors, right? A little bit of some messaging, but obviously on a billboard, you wouldn't have all these words. You would just have maybe Annie's shells and white cheddar, okay? Another idea. 
Honest Kids. It's kind of a fun design. It's really simple. You have some bright colors. You have the bold brand name, a little message here. It's organic juice drink. That's another idea. Okay. Now we can't be all healthy. This is fun too. So here you have really simple M&M box. You have the M&M sitting there. You're going to want to eat these, right? And last, I just pulled out some goldfish. Again, really simple. So think about this. A graphic artist, a graphic design artist designed these different products. That's their job, okay? So your job is to come up with some sort of original idea of a product or an event and create a billboard. Now, I'll show you mine real quick. So my first name is Kate. That's a secret. I made my own little brand, Kate's Coffee. I know I spelled coffee wrong, but I was being a little bit clever with my brand, right? I made it a really bold sort of coffee mug with my coffee in there. I said, make it a happy day. I'm happy when I drink coffee. I know a lot of people are. You guys probably can't drink coffee, but you know what I mean. And then I gave it some color. I did some simple designs on my mug. I did bright on the bottom. I kind of gave it like a like a tie-dye theme, so it was really colorful on the bottom, tie-dye in the back, but I kept everything else really pretty simple. That's my billboard. I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with and have fun designing. Bye, guys.